kick me, bitch. Bitch, you trick me. <laughs> Remember that time Tracy Morgan played Satan? I think so. It was in that, um, that Twilight Zone movie. Remember, it's about the comedian that, uh, he makes jokes, that, or, or every time he jokes about someone and then they disappear. Oh, uh, yeah. And it was kind of heavily implied that Trace Morgan was Satan. Yeah, I remember now. But he was a really good Satan. Uh, although my favorite uh, actor to play Satan in uh, in in Twilight Zone was uh, Burgess Meredith in the original. Uh, he was a uh, penguin in the Adam West Batman, and also uh, Rocky's coach Vicky in the Rocky movies. And he was also a uh, Globulus from G.I. Joe the movie, one of the members of Cobra la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, that movie fucking great. I love G.I. Joe the movie. Well, the original, although, you know, the second live action movie was actually pretty good. I believe it. That's the one with the rocket. Because the first one I thought was fucking terrible. But the second one actually felt like a G.I. Joe movie. One thing I would have changed is I didn't like the fact that it was just... So, I don't mind The Rock playing Roadblock. Or as I call him, Body Massage. Because of uh, those shorts. But, they should have just had The Rock just be The Rock. As a member of G.I. Joe. Like, you know how they had Sergeant Slaughter? As Sergeant Slaughter of G.I. Joe, I would like that. But yeah, the second one was way better. And it helps that Channing Tatum is in it most of the time. That one also had uh, Bruce Willis and the RZA in it. Oops. You know what I would rather watch than uh, than the new Space Jam? Meh. Nah. Tiger Woods is uh, Tiger Woods is uh, Deep Jam. Okay. Oh, make that make that hole and I'll blow you. <laughs> Tiger Woods a furry confirmed. Mm. Oh my god. My back is killing me already. But Marty the Moth is on. Let's give that boy a shout out. Because Marty the Moth is awesome. Shout out to Martin Casals. He's playing Dead by Daylight. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, his stream's barely going to be starting. Sweet. I picked a fine day to stream myself. I don't like this head position. Mm, I like. Mm, I like.
Que no sabe qué es. Veamos. I'm gonna be going back and forth. And... Hmm. I'm going to put the little Marty string right here.
<laughs> if you hear a scream, that's Marty's freaking stream. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Marty. Looks like he's going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. That you guys want to check out his, his stream and support, my, support that man. Guy's working his ass off right now in the rest, the wrestling, some wrestling uh, school over there in Atlanta, Georgia, right now. How many points do I have on this stream? Wait, did I type it in right? No, I don't think I did. So, anyone excited for WrestleMania? Mm. A COVID media too. You mean a last minute mania? WrestleMania Z two parter. Not really. The lineup doesn't look very appealing. To me, it feels like some of the lineup is just like rushed. You're like, oh, let's just yeah, get. Yeah, because it was all. Done the last minute. They were like a month away. They they didn't even have the card finalized. You got all these. You got these storylines and these rivals that don't make sense. Like why? I don't know about COVID media since they are bringing back fans into the event. They are? I feel like that's a little bit early. I guess they're just doing it because like EW and Impact are doing it too. But honestly, they should be a little more smarter of how, of, you know, like people being in the arena. I can't remember how to check the things. How is it? Who's 
messaging me. Who be that? Oh, it's you guys. Up, oh. Marty Street. Look at that. What happened? What happened? Dun! What happened? What happened? Okay, there goes the stream. Okay, now it's in offline again. Looks like Marty's having some technical issues as well. They're calling it WrestleMania back in business. Yeah. When is uh when is Shinsuke Nakamura gonna fight all of the suicide force back? Yes. Too soon. Uh, the one you're in here, Awesome, huh? Really? Uh, hold on. Huh? Phone call? Phone call. Hey, Dan. Marty the Moth is currently online, guys! Again, if you haven't seen him, you should check him out. He's a professional wrestler and good friend of mine, actually. We chat, we, we chat, played some video games together a few times. Right now, he is currently in Atlanta, Georgia. He lives in Utah. 
accompanied him and his fiance to be traveled from Utah all the way to Atlanta on a 28-hour drive. I think it's 8, 28 hours or something like that. Can't remember, but they traveled by car, not plane, by car, from Utah all the way to Georgia, which is crazy. I think it was like a three-day drive. So he's currently there for three months, training his ass off, getting in shape and making his dream come true. And that's why I have my donation go for 3000 for my wrestling school tuition so I can live that dream too. And chatting with Marty, you know, I got to meet him in person. He's a real cool guy. Chatting with him, you know, playing video games, watching his stream. It's motivating me even more to get into that wrestling ring. So whoever's watching, I appreciate your support if you help me reach that dream. Who doesn't want to try to reach a dream, honestly? Probably, if he's still on, I'll probably raid him. It's your papa. He's gonna. He'll pick me up uh, Monday morning, but it, he, he might show up early, so I'm probably gonna have to go to bed early. Mm. Oh, but I'll have every. What I'll do is um, I'll have everything packed uh, before I go to bed. Okay. That way I can just you know. Oops. Get ready. Yeah. yeah I told him I'll uh, I'll cover his gas. Look at that hairy Russian man behind me. He's just eyeing me for some reason. Uh oh, the screen went up again. What's going on? Looks like he's having some of that Georgia internet issues. Hopefully you get your, your PC coming along, man. Hmm. What's her eyes like? So let me study her a little. Okay. Oh. You did it again. Nothing broke. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I told you, you gotta be careful while leaning on that couch. Either, like, either you lean on the other side or just sit down normal. Sorry. It's fine. Oh, it's there's, there's good. I said it's alright. Nothing broke, nothing broke, and it goes like the top. I said I'm sorry. No, I'm not changing in a bad way! Okay. 
Okay, now I'm hitting the part of the stream where I just okay. the thing that will. I wonder what happened to Bonnie Stratton. Probably having some really bad internet issues. That's the that's the worst case scenario to happen. You have really bad connection. I had some few friends that suffer from that. I suffered for that for a while. I gotta get a big nice stand for this character. That should probably be in the next thing I buy. Ooh, that's a nice big one. I'm not gonna pay no fucking hundred and sixty. Those are two piece. I want a pack. There we go. <clears throat> Fourteen. Right now. See, what are we on? The third? I could just buy this now. Ooh, they even come in black. Nice. But I think I might go with the classic. Buying things while I'm streaming. Like, oh, hey guys, I forgot you're here. Well, it looks like Marty's trying to fix his stream or something. I need to fix this chest. Don't like how it looks. It doesn't look good with her torso.
If I can't get this to look good, I'm gonna have to start over somehow. Hey, welcome back. I'm just having some complications with this structure, this body structure. Has it already been two hours? Holy shit. Oh. Okay, I think I want to do this. Move this arm. Maybe that will help. Let me just keep going and see how that looks for more. Oh, that looks terrible. Huh, you gotta take out the trash? Oh, that sucks. That's kind of like something I have to do here, too. So I feel ya. Hmm. I still don't like that. Might have to rethink some stuff here. I have an idea. Let's take away this arm. I might have to do
Okay, let's try that. See how that looks. Might have to do another refinement. Oh, Leslie's on! Look at that! I guess his stream ended? Or is he hosting right now? Jasper! Oh, you doggo! Yeah, Leslie's cool. Marty's wife, uh, wife to be. She's cool. I guess they're gonna just smell a copy out of you here today. What I do want to do with Twitch? Hmm, it depends. I'm gonna see how things go from there. I'm not gonna go too far ahead. I want to see what things go first. Right now, I'm still trying to get to the 50 followers. I'm trying to pop my back. Hold on folks, I gotta go check on something. I shall be right back. Oh, you in the bathroom? Oh. Right. Uh. Uh. Okay, never mind about that. I might do the the alpha the alpha something form. Kind of the main goal I'm going for right now.
I am not liking this. I do not like how this is looking for some reason. Not sure what it is, but I think my portions are completely off. Let's just try to finish it. I'll just call it call her Liz for short. Seven deadly sins, Liz. All right. And that's what I'm calling it. Today I'm having an off day because I do not like how this. Look, and I don't like the proportions. Let me try something. From this, I'm making these too low, the more higher. I mean, I'm gonna have to get. You got a question but for another day? Well, if you want, man, feel free to say it.
Oh, that? Uh, I don't remember how I did that. I think I did that off of Streamlabs. Yeah, I did the whole donation thing through Streamlabs. They have a feature where they connect your your um, like the donation things. Oh, Twitch management. Trying to remember where I did it. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, I did it off of this website called Stream um, Streamlabs.com. Create a, you can make an account by just logging into your Twitch, and you can get all your like notifications and stuff like that. Like I get on my screen. Yeah, they have a donation thing where you can connect your PayPal and stuff like that. Oh my knuckle! It cracked. It cracked. This one is taking me off long for some reason. I don't like how it's looking. I don't know why. I don't like how it looks. Where the hell? Where did this come from? I might have to start over because I do not like this at all. I do not like this. So I'm going to start over because I do not like how this is looking. I do not like the proportion. I do not like the angle. I like something, but everything else was just really bothering me. It was like... I started over. Kinda got a, a good picture how I want to do it. Same kind of pose. I'm gonna try to do it differently. Oh, oh my neck.
<laughs> yeah, I am having an off day today. Must be a Saturday. Uh, could? I'm not really sure how that works without a card. Okay, I think I like this one better. So whoever's watching this, sorry I'm starting over. I did not like the proportion.
and another thing is the clothing I don't like either. One of those days. One of those days where nothing goes right. Jeepers. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna have to finish off stream again. It's fine. Because I, I don't want to be doing this for like six hours. I will eventually do the rest of it off the stream. So yeah, to answer your question, uh, so yeah, I did make a PayPal. I had a PayPal for a while.
See, at this point, I'm starting to like a little. What am I doing? Alrighty, I'm liking this one much better. Hopefully I could get the outline done and maybe color her in. Oh my god. So tired. Ugh. <laughs> I love that. I can really go for another refill. So in the meantime, I'm going to go get myself a refill on my drink. I'll use the restroom real fast. In the meantime, I'll leave you in the hands of this heady, sexy man right here. What happened? Oh, you're so pissed off there. No! Did you, oh, there he goes, knocked down the guitar when I was trying to set the thing up. And I told you I was sorry. momento
close this for now, and I am back. Oh, much better. Got my refill. Went to the restroom. You gotta stick to that alphanet. Okay. In time, you'll you'll get around to it. You'll figure it out. I had to experiment. What you missed, nothing much. I just just sat back down. Ugh. Oh, I'm like that. Let's see. What's this? Oh, this guy looks cool. Let's see how Miss Lately is doing. Oh, uh, she's not there right now. She's a BRB. Nathan is streaming right now. Give a shout out to Nathan. I gotta see how to do the link thing stuff for shout outs. Let me do this show. Yeah, I was just saying, you know, around the way, you'll, um, you'll figure it out along the way. Oh my goodness! I'm not even high yet. I don't know why. It was crazy. Good God! 
Don't knock your teeth. Right. That, but that looks very unappetizing. Oh, you never know. Was it was Nathan in the chat or? Oh no, I just a uh, shout out to him. He's currently streaming um oh, a Mario Luigi game. Yeah, it's uh, it was one of them. You know, I I'm kind of feel bad for the for that game trilogy because the company that made it shut down, and you would think Nintendo would buy that they company. Did it, yeah. oh, wow. it is. Because I heard a lot of good things about those games. Like Bowser's Inside Story, I heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah. Although, something I noticed that it seems like Nintendo is just against um, expanding the Mario universe with like, with like more characters and story or unique designs. And that's kind of what happened with that Origami King. Yeah. And apparently, like, they didn't want Archie doing a, a fucking uh, Mario comic, which, you know, would have, spot, would have, like, highlighted a lot of characters that are neglected. I think Nintendo's are just a little petty, because if it's like, if we don't, if we can't do it, then no one else can. But, you know, like, um, in that Origami King, like, um, you know how, like, in the previous Paper Mario, they had, like, Koopas and Koombas with, like, unique designs? They yeah. got rid of that. Well, that's lame. Well, he's been on for, like, two hours already. Yo, Jagger! What's up? I didn't even see you there. I got Xenotron with me. He's, he's enjoying his Easter spring break with, at my place. Bowser's Inside Story is legit. Mm -hmm. Some reason why Paper Mario is not the same. No, it hasn't been the same since A Thousand Years Door. I remember playing the N64 one, which is the first one, and A Thousand Years Door, which I think was the best one. After that, they, it just kind of went under. I think the reason why the, the Origami one is the way it is because they wanted to try something more... Something new, something more appealing for the newcomers. You see that, but it's also pretty safe. They want to make it less RPG, which kind of beats the point of making a Paper Mario game. Right. I might as well give a hot take. I think I think Super Mario RPG is highly overrated. Oh, Super Mario RPG? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's still a good game. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a good game, but people dick ride that like it's the greatest fucking RPG. It's not even the greatest RPG on the SNES. And it's not because I, I hate Gino. Although, Gino's toxic man baby fan base doesn't help. No, it does not. So, I was happy when they got cuffed. Well, if you say Terry Bogart doesn't belong in Smash, but you're dick right in Gino, then you, know, you don't deserve it. But you know, the quote Kermit the Frog, that's not my business. Drinks your tea. If you hear, like, some auto, some other audio, that's me. I'm watching my boy, my boy, Marty the Moth Martinez, or Martin Casals. Cool guy. No. Nintendo's fucking whack because they. I think it was like Nintendo or Miyamoto just didn't want, you know, Sonic and Mario crossing over in the platformer, which is what everyone fucking wanted. That's what people want. 
in a Marvel Sonic game. They want a platformer that you know combines both elements. Like, no, let's do something like the Olympics. Which I do like the most recent one because there's that awesome kick-ass karate game. But it's like no one fucking wanted this. Like, the very least, if you're gonna do Marvel Sonic crossovers, but you don't want to do platformers. At least do something people would get into, like a like a fucking kart racing game with both franchises in it, or a fucking RPG. But now, no, here's uh, here's Mario and Sonic at the non-canon Tokyo Olympics. But like you said, though, that the car the con karate one was the best thing about it. Oh yeah, dude, it's so fun. Like me and uh, me and a. Uh, DJ Crow were going to have a, a, a tournament at Evo last year, but, you know. COVID. Because that karate mode is super legit. It has, like, Tekken Korean backdashing in it. Although that would... The Tokyo Olympics just needed some more characters, and it sucks because there's unlockable characters, but they're only playable in certain events. Like, why even make them unlockable then? Right. Not only that, it's missing characters that were in the previous game, because Styx was in the, the Rio Olympics one, and she's not in this one. Something about Nintendo and sticks they don't like. Well, it's Sega that makes the Olympics game, not Nintendo. Mm, that's true. Now, there's a rumor. I guess they're trying to make another Olympics game. But they're not quite sure. Because they might just abandon it. Because the Olympics will mostly get canceled off due to, like, some shady, you know, stuff involving China and the event. And I say, just cancel it and just but salvage everything and just make a Sonic and Mario a general sports game. You know, you can just still make it like sports game collection. Good. Just take out all the Olympics related shit, like, you know, disc throwing shit. Because uh, the Tokyo one has skateboarding. Who doesn't like skateboarding? Tony Hawk for Smash Brothers. People say Tony Hawk is a, wouldn't would it uh, make sense because he's a real person, but he's a video gaming icon. <laughs> It'd be better than having Goku and Zeno. You mean the two characters that no one actually wants, or really wants? Uh, we already got Goku in the game, it's Dragon Punch Hero. Yeah, it's just Hero. If they put Chrono in it, we would've gotten another Goku. Ha! Ha ha! But... In my biased opinion, I would've preferred Chrono over the Dragon Punch Hero, if I totally get why the Dragon Punch Hero is there. Mm-hmm. I hope Square can make a port that's not ass. Right. Like the the C version had a lot of issues and it's based on the mobile version. They um they patched it. It's not perfect, but it's way better than when it launched. But I would like just you know, a proper port. Or fuck it, just remake it already. Uh, who the fuck was asking for a saga frontier remake? And nothing against Saga Frontier, but Come on, people want Proto Trigger or Final Fantasy VI. I'm not even good. asking for like a big elaborate 3D Final Fantasy VI remake. Just do it in the style of um, of uh, Octopath Traveler. Yes. My favorite part of Marty's gimmick when he was like uh, stalking uh, Melissa Santos 
Uh -huh. And was like sniffing her hair and building a shrine to her. Didn't you do the same thing with like with Sexy Star for a while too? Who was Mari Posa with Sexy Star? But he was like, I know he was like creeping up on the on the Melissa Santos. And yeah. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like, I like this one better. I'm going to be going back and forth quite a lot to see what I'm doing here. Okay. The plane, he's playing Dead by Daylight. But did he win already? That was a short game. <laughs> He's still here. Oh, don't worry. So I, I'm, I know you're still here. Oh, nice. Uh, is it the um? Is it like the big box with all of them, or is it just the uh? Is it just the uh the thirty dollar one on Switch with uh? Was it with uh one two? Uh, Mega and Super, because I want to get the one, uh, the big uh, anthology box or whatever it's called, which, which for some dumb reason they split into two, but it has the uh, director's cuts of uh, Super and Mega as well as Super 2, because I fucking love Jerkin. 
know what this Jaeger is talking about. He's got a turban collection. <laughs> I don't even know what a Turkin collection is. It's, it's an awesome, it's an awesome fucking uh, uh, retro side scrolling game made by Germans. Oh, okay. Cause I'm thinking of getting like uh, the big box with uh, you know it comes with like the soundtrack CDs and stuff. Cause I do want to play the director's cut of Super. Cause I guess the original version of Super was kind of cut short or whatever so this one at least adds a few more things to it but that that's pretty dope did you try uh uh gunlord x on switch because uh that's a really really good jerk club. look at you nerds you nerds talking about stuff from my stream you nerds i'm sorry like no one ever brings up jerk so <laughs> you're nerds and then Turkin fucking slaps. Okay, cool, yeah. One thing that bothered me is I never understood what the fuck Euro-style platformer was. It's like, I, I know the game was made by European, but what the fuck makes the game Euro-style? Yeah, Turkin's the shit. And I love how in uh, Mega Turkin... You essentially fight Galactus, a giant T-800, Ed-209, and a Xenomorph Queen. Nerds! Uh, no, just kidding. No, really, that's who the bosses are in that game. Jesus. Well, he's called The Machine, but it's clearly Galactus. Yeah, I mean, uh, if I can't get that one, I, I might just get the flashback. I just think, you know, at the very least, it should have had a uh, Turkin 2. I don't know, Super Turkin 2, I mean. Yeah, he is a bit of Stripe mix, uh, but I, I, see, I still see a little bit of Galactus, but yeah, that helmet is very much Stripe. Man, remember Stripe from X Force? <clears throat> see, I grew up on, like, the Rob Liefeld era. X-Force and Jim Lee X-Men. So in Deadpool 2, when they brought in Shatterstar, and the, he was like a pompous asshole, and they killed him off, that was the coolest thing ever, because I always fucking hated Shatterstar. Oh yeah! They, the, the big box doesn't even have the NES one. And the NES one's pretty cool too. No, the only thing I don't like about Tur Super Turkin 2 is the soundtrack, because they went for more of like an epic, dramatic score. Why are you, you and nerds chat? I want to go get some. Alright, here, let's throw this away. Oh my, you're butler? No, but you know, you're close to there. Alright, bitches. So anyway. Let's go to the back. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Su Super Turkin 2, the only thing I didn't like was the soundtrack, because... They went for like a big, you know, epic dramatic score, and I and the only real, the only song in there that really felt Turkin was uh, was the Wormland stage. Like I kind of want the whole soundtrack to feel more like Turkin. <laughs> yeah, because uh, my favorite is still um, my favorite is still Mega. They, they, you know, as, as good as the the first two, the Amiga ones are. It. The whole like um, not having invincibility when you get when you get uh, hit is is pretty whack. Oh yeah, yeah, that was pretty good too. Do, uh, do you know the Universal Soldier game that was like a reskin Turkin? Uh, cause, cause that's pretty interesting. They they uh, they swapped out the Turkin guy for not Jean Claude Van Damme. And then the mech, uh, the mech boss that usually, yeah, the mech boss you usually find is just a giant, not Dolph Lundgren. I I wish we would get more games like that where they would take like a game and just reskin it into some into a licensed IP. Because sometimes that kind of works best. I guess the um, another example was uh, Shatterhand. On the NES, which in Japan was based on the uh, the Metal Hero Tokusatsu show uh, Soul Brain, 
And you know, in the U in the US they changed it to Shatterhand. Shatterhand fucking kicks ass. I really Yeah, okay, yeah, because I remember the, the giant mech bot the, the mech you fought was Dolph Lundgren, but um I forgot, yeah, they turned the machine into a giant Dolph Lundgren too. Um I really hope Natsume remakes Shatterhand, because they did Wild Guns Reloaded. Fucking awesome. And you know the ninja ninja warriors once again, or the ninja saviors, kick asses too. And then that new Pocky and Rocky looks really really good. They just got to do Shatterhand. Okay, you nerds, get out of my way so I can continue my doodles. Uh, how about you stop? Ugh. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. Put your put your ass through this table. And it falls apart on you, just like the real thing. We're gonna need that table, by the way. We're gonna need. Oh, well. Give me you, should, you should get one of them Japanese tables. That don't work. Give me, me. I'll never get to put it away then. You nerd. Yeah, it, it... Shut up. <laughs> I never get to talk about these games with people. No one else wants to talk about these games. Um. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty it's pretty whack that that game isn't on Steam yet. I actually got the uh, the Asian physical release for the the Switch, which has the cool reversible cover of the Super Famicom box. Oh yeah, and I'm so happy they're making a third Blaster Master Zero. That came out of nowhere, but I was really happy. The, the CNT creates uh, announced that. I did wish that they did show a bit more uh, Gunvolt 3, but it's probably understandable that you know that game got delayed. Jesse, you would love uh, Blaster Master Zero because in the sequel there's a watermelon girl with big titties. Interesting. Yeah, let me let me look her up for you. My god, my chat is a is occupied. This is supposed to be a family friendly site. I'm just kidding. It says the dude that draws a better shirt for a profession. Touche. <laughs> I'm just looking at my drawing, it's like. Touche. Kana is a meme. Oh my. Yeah. That's fruity licious. Yeah, I knew you'd be into that. No, I didn't say I was. No, I. We, we got it on, on fucking camera. I said I'm pretty vicious. Want. Doesn't mean I approve to it. No, you do. You can't hide. <laughs> you guys quit lying. I haven't said you see, anything. You're never, you're never true with your feelings. What are you talking about? What feelings? Look into your heart. You know it's been true. I ain't got a heart. We all do. Mine's just kind of fucked up from all the, from all the, from the, you know, from all the years of, uh, from all the fucking alcohol abuse and fucking, uh, food. Well, it may not, no, it wasn't alcohol abuse, I just drank a bit excessively, but it wasn't, I wasn't that on the It wasn't Barney yet. Don't cry for me, I'm already dead. That's my line. <laughs> ow, ow, duh, what the fuck? Yeah, e e Eve School. And what? I heard some rumor that supposedly, uh, Ca like Capcom and Inti Crates had a falling out, and whatever. And supposedly it was Inti Crates fault, which I don't know if that's true, but it would suck because I really love Inti Crates. They're 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 really good. I'm a little concerned about Gunvolt Three because in because Conman and the Fune is involved, but. Hopefully he learned his lesson after Mighty Blender 9.
So anyways, Jiger, how you been, man? That's cool. That's good. It's good. I've been seeing here the and Annie Jesse's for this is part of my uh, spring break. And thankfully, you know, you don't live out of state, so it's not like, you know, I have to, like, super quarantine when I get back home. Right. <laughs> who's screaming? Which, which character? Who's screaming over here in this other stream? Jager, did you uh did you catch Dino Zen on? Dude, I watched the first episode yesterday and I'm really liking it. I mean I was bit like I love Paul Triple S Grid Man, but uh and that was great and you know so far Dino Zen on looks like it's not gonna disappoint. Although people get mad when I tell them that the only good trigger anime is Grid Man. I wonder why. Which kill a kill is good. I just like uh, Nana on the the, the pink uh, bamboo chair. She he's saying which one? Um, uh, which show? Oh, the the new Gridman anime sequel because uh, with uh the sequel to uh called Triple S Gridman called Triple S uh, Dino Zeno. Oh, I like to call Squidman. I think it's like or I don't know. I just know it's like. The SSSs usually stand for something, but I think it's just meant to be Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. <laughs> like, something, 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 Gridman. No, it's Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, like like the American version of Gridman. But they actually spell Cyber with an S. It's like uh, the 80s cartoon Mask, where they spell Command with a K. And Mask stood for Mobile Armored Strike Command. Which also didn't make sense because I know, like, okay, our games we wear masks. Like, well, these are helmets, these aren't masks. Oh, yeah. Gridman was probably my, my top show of 20. Uh, Quadruple S Gridman was my top show of 2018 alongside uh, Megalo Box and Double Man Crybaby and, and uh, High School Girl. So, highly recommend it. It's because it's. Um, it's not only is it like a tribute to the original, aka Supreme Samurai Cyber Squad, it's also a big love letter to anything Masami Obari, Transformers, and Brave. And almost every character in Gridman is like based on like an obscure Transformer. And they're kind of continuing the trend with uh, Dino Zenon. But Dino Zenon's looking really good. And uh, something cool about the dub for Quadruple S Gridman. If you know, I'm not a fan of, of uh, current Funimation, but in the dub, the main villain, Alexis, they, the dude voicing him is just doing a Tim Curry impression because he was the villain in uh, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. That's <laughs> <laughs> why you want to talk. I'm kidding. It was a joke. Jesus. See, Jagger thought it was funny. You've been busting my bones all week. Just let me have this W. You can have the W. I'll right. keep the L. Yeah. Ah. Ah. That's a bottle you ah. I'm dying. He hit me with that plastic bottle. He doesn't believe in recycling. No, I do. <laughs> Just because I'm fat doesn't mean I'm fucking hot and freezing. He's one of those anti recycling people. Because I thought Captain Planet was a whack ass superhero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, if you guys want to post up funny gifs on my stream, if you want. I got a little icon on the, on the middle of my screen that pops out that says Gimpy. Have fun with that. Don't knock on your I still stand by the quadruple F grip and it's like so far the only big trigger I have a Jagger said those Dynaclo oh. Gridman figures. Oh yeah, I really want to get those. Only thing that sucks is that die they charge you up the ass for die clones. They're expensive as fuck. Cause but I was thinking of maybe using like my tax return or part of my stimmy to get that die clone gridman. <laughs> stimmy. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, Jesse, I should show you some of those. They're going to be, like, fucking ridiculous. Especially because, like, they have, uh, because Diaclone, I guess, just as a quick explanation, Diaclone was one of the, uh, one, like, the two or three toy lines that they used to make Transformers. And in Japan, mm. and in Japan, Takar did, like, a Diaclone reboot, like a modern reimagining of it. But what was cool is that they did, a. Uh, they brought in a version of Optimus there, which is like just a standard piloted mech. And it's a badass looking figure. And, you know, it's about like this size, you know, a standard with like the, the Voyager price point. The thing that sucks, you want to know how much they're asking for it? How much? $300 for that Optimus. And I, it comes with a big ass trailer, but it's like, what if I just want the figure? I don't want to spend $300. Is that the one Jobby revealed it? No, no, it's a different Yeah, that's why I haven't collected either, and it sucks because the Dicon figures look so fucking awesome. Like, I'm hoping that Mech Fan Toys can just make a bootleg, because they they're a third party company and they've been doing like uh uh kind of not high quality knockoffs of all the Dicon mech suits plus some original stuff that's compatible. I think they did some of the Dicon mech. If they do a, a knockoff of that Battle Convoy, I totally get that. Yeah, no, Diaclone is, is expensive as shit. I had no idea shit would be so expensive. Dude, what happens is you buy high-quality, high-end collect, uh, collectible Japanese toys. Because, like, they're, they want, like... For that Gridman, I think they want like 220. But that Optimus is like 300. And there's some other ridiculous ones. And what's and what makes it even worse is that they encourage you to army build and buy multiples because they're all model uh, modular, so you can just like swap parts and make all sorts of combinations. It's like, yeah, good luck trying to do that on a budget. Oh yeah, I definitely got the money for all that, for $300 figure. Let me go pull it out of my bank account that I don't have.
<laughs> if you can't read it from there, I can pull it up. Oh right yeah, here. no. I want to get that black Zerg because I was thinking of maybe getting that that uh, Scorponok, but I was like, maybe if they do a black Zerg, but you know, I doubt that would happen. And now they're fucking doing it. Like, oh, fuck, right? I guess I might get it. But I don't know if I'll have Root Freak because I already got the fucking. I mean, Jesse Cena, I got the big ass Trypticon, that giant, uh. The, the, the Transformers Mecha Godzilla looking thing. Yep. Because I want to get that fucking, uh. I want to get Black Zarek. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking put a beer can in his hand because he's big enough to hold it. Or I don't know, I'll put like a LaCroix can in there or something. Something, something. I work in no play makes Homer go It's going to be the last Titan I'm getting, though. At least you're not my. At least you're not my friend. Um, at least you're not my friend DJ Crow who fucking uh, he. That big ass fucking Unicron. He has no place to fucking put it. He's, he's kind of getting a bit of a panic attack. All you have to do is transform that motherfucker into robot mode and put it put it in a chair. And there you go. That's where you display it. On a fucking chair. Yeah, because it's that fucking big. I, um. Yeah, dude, like. Because I bought Trypticon because he was like on sale on BBTS. It was like, it's like I think 80 bucks. And you know, I would like to get Omega Supreme too. And I had a friend who told me like, you want to get that Unicron? Like, fuck no, I'm not spending $600 for something. I don't know where I'm going to fucking put. This toy is $600. This toy is $600. This toy is $600 fucking dollars. Let's get it. I think it was like five or six hundred. It was a crowdfunding thing. Because Hasbro, it was essentially like, in order to justify us making this, you have to fund it yourself. Jesus. And I get it. Because Hasbro's actually been kind of doing that with, this, with some other stuff. Because they need a gigantic ass playset for uh, Jabba's fucking sail barge from Return of the Jedi. And then they did a giant sentinel. Yeah, that, that Unicron is fucking massive. I feel sorry for DJ Crow. And where the hell is he gonna put that? I told you know, because he, he, he does bigger photography, but I told him, like, you know, I can crank it over. I'll help you take some goofy ass photos. Oh, is that cool? Unicorn is too expensive for me. I wish I still had my Armada Unicorn, because that figure is still... I, that figure still holds up. Dare I add, dare I say what happened to it? It's probably at my desk somewhere, but I think it's missing some pieces. Oh, I know they did a re-release of it. <clears throat> yeah, because at the time, like, you know, because it wasn't... So, G1 Fortress Maxis was like 24 inches, 2 feet. And Armada Unicron was like 18 inches. And I, I wasn't sure if they were going to go bigger, but at the time we were pretty content because it was a good looking Unicron figure, and it still held up. It's from Armada, it was like 2002-2003. And then, uh, you know, they, over the years, I know they did repaints, repaints, and they did remolds to make it more movie accurate. And then, you know, Hasbro started, when they started doing like the big Titan class figures, they actually started making them uh, 24 inches to slightly uh, above that. And, I mean, now people got their giant fucking Unicron figure.
I mean, when it comes to Transformers right now, right now I'm just buying, uh, I'm interested in getting Kingdom stuff, because I got Black Arachnia, and I pre I pre-ordered uh, Beast Wars uh, Kingdom Megatron, and I also got uh, two of the T-Rex Fossilizer uh, coming in, too. They can maybe get like a primal or, or and a and a Dinobot. And I got a I got Gamer Pie the uh, I got him a Black Arachnia too. Mm. Which it's a good figure, but he didn't want to pay twenty bucks for it because she is a bit small. In fact, I think I have a photo of just to show you the scales. I mean, so he, he was happy I, I got it for him. Oh, God, that is small. Yeah. Keep this. Like, I think they want, like, 22, 23 here, but it's still a really good figure. I was happy to purchase. They're making, uh... They got a new air razor too from uh, coming out. Oh, that's cool. Waiting to get Dinobot, Galvatron, Cyclonus, Scourge, and Hot Rod. Yeah, dude, the that new Galvatron looks uh, looks pretty dope. Uh, and I saw the uh, I saw uh, both the Studio uh, Hot Rod and that new Rodimus. They look really good. Like so is all the. Uh, I do like how they're kind of mixing the, the 86 movie with both, uh, they're putting it into both the studio line and in Kingdom. Because, uh, the Scourge and Cyclonus look pretty cool, too. It's just, uh, right now I'm just kind of more focused on getting the Beast Wars figures, because, like, it's not that, like, the, uh, the G1 characters don't look good. It's just, like, we got enough of those. I just, this is, like, the first time we were getting, you're getting new Beast Wars stuff. I'm hoping they do a few of the toy only characters. Like if they do Polar Claw or Magna Boss or Razor Beast, I would I'd be down for that. Some Japanese characters would be good too. Doubtful, but I would love to see like a Leo Convoy. A Leo Convoy? I'm hoping for more Beast Beast War characters, Victory, Master Force, and Armada. Look, they need to do... I think Armada's got an anniversary coming up. They need to do some more Armada stuff. Okay. I fucking love the Unicron trilogy. And, you know, Master Force and Victory are fucking awesome, too. I, I want to get that, uh, the fan top, uh, was it the Naval Commander third party, uh, Armada Optimus, because I had the original Armada Optimus, and the 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 cat uh, the cab figure is good. I just didn't like the combined mode because it was a big fucking brick. And at least the naval commander looks like it's actually going to be posable in combined mode. Because aside from like you know mainstream Hasbro and Takara stuff, I do collect a few uh, third parties. And uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll post some of my figure collection on uh, on Twitter because I uh, I'm, th I'm thinking about when I can uh, head over to my dad's. I can probably try to find some other figures I have in the store. Yeah, and it's weird because prior to Armada, they ha you know they did uh, Car Robot slash R.I.D. two thousand one. And, you know, that was fresh off of Beast Wars slash Beast Machine. Those were, like, 
no like superposable and ball joints. So it's we were like most of the Armada toys were fucking bricks. I think the most posable Armada toy was um Oh fuck, what was it called? It was like Smokescreen had an upgrade form where he became like a like a backhoe or something. It's what they used to make Cybertron long grab. That was actually their most posable figure. And like, yeah, no wonder they retooled this for Cybertron, because that figure still holds up. That and uh uh Unicron. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was so weird. Oh yeah, Supercon Optimus is pretty dope too. Yeah, I, I had that too. Yeah, the command the commanders being redecoed Batacons was just so out of place. Like at least some of the posable G2 toys fit the R.I.D. aesthetic. But yeah, like the G the 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 Kabatacon repaint was just like a, a bit odd. E e even even when I was like when even when I was like getting into Transformers, because I was uh, I got in with G2, and then of course like Beast Wars is where it was. Well, I started with T2, but Beast Wars is what really made me a fan. And that's why I kind of get really... I get really annoyed when people still to this day, for whatever reason, uh, talk shit about Beast Wars. And, and like, oh, it's ruined the franchise. The franchise would be dead if it wasn't for Beast Wars. Oh, yeah. Glad to hear that, man. Yeah. And uh, some of the Beast Wars repaints in R.I.D., I thought, you know... Work because you know it made sense. You know they had Predacons there. Uh, was it? Um, because uh, I, I had a lot of fucking vintage Beast Wars. I wish I still had. But yeah, ever since then, I never really fell out of Transformers. Even even when the like the Bay movies were going out, I was. Yeah, Skybite is way better than Cybershark. And on and it helps that Skybike's like an actual character with personality. Um, what's it but even yeah, even when the Bay movies were like rolling around, I wasn't uh, I didn't ever really fell out of Transformers. And hell, the the Bay toys at least had like some cool like original toys. That um, it was like when they did Hunt for the Decepticons and revealed the Shield. Some of those were in a weird middle ground between G one like aesthetic and bay former aesthetic as uh i have uh i still have uh hunt for decepticon bludgeon and that's it, i mean i treat it like a like a g1 classics generations bludgeon and, but there's a lot of really badass figures from uh from that